A what now? Okay, 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 you know what? I'm leaving, I'm leaving. A lesson. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Why is there a lesson in there? What the hell? Is that the creature that we heard before? Yeah, okay, you know what? I don't like this place. I don't like this place at all. I am gonna focus on my witcher... No, on my secondary quest, the fall of House Reardon. I don't care if I have to slide off of the mountain, but I'm not gonna tangle with a legend that's apparently quite powerful. So, all we gotta do is find this manor, clear it from monsters, help the lures out... Oh, there's a note. Nope, nope. There's a note spot here, but we're not gonna go there. We're already way too distracted. If we want to go to the note spot, we'll do that when we uh, start dealing with the ladies in the wood or something along those lines. We go to the man. We figure out what kind of monster we're dealing with. We can travel upwards quickly towards Lindenville, tell the doors the good news, and then before nightfall, she will have her home back and have a roof over her head. And then we can finally. We can finally continue upwards towards the end of the crossroads and such. Nighttime. Four four Father's Eve. What time is it? What time is it? 3 p.m. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have to be honest. I completely forgot that we kind of promised the Pella that we would help him. All the villagers all are already there with all the boats. Oh god. Okay, change of plan. We're gonna go to the manor. We're gonna figure out what kind of monster we're dealing with. We're going to clear it from monsters. Hopefully it's not a lesson. Um, we're gonna ride like the wind on the road, just as fast as we can follow the road backwards up towards Lindenville. We tell her the good news, she can go home. We go south, we take the boat, we sail as fast as we possibly can towards Fike Isle. And uh, 3 p.m., that means uh, 7... We have seven-ish hours to deal with the manor and go back to Lindenville. And then we've got two-ish hours or something along those lines to get all the way back to Fike Isle in time for the rituals. Okay, I might be cutting this short, but we should be able to do this. You wouldn't be the monster I'm trying to find, right? Nah, you're just a common bear. A common bear who... Who is going to cause issues? Who is going to cause issues? We got this, and I should take... I should take my sword out, put beast oil on it, and then quickly... Get out of the way! That's it, that's better. Alright. Sorry, my friend. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hardly apologize. But at the same time, you wouldn't apologize to any kind of adventurer you're trying to kill. So, this is fine. This is fine. I'm very sorry, bud. Very sorry. But this is just the way it currently is. No, you do not. No smacking me into the ground. <sighs> it does feel kind of bad. At least a little bit. Anyway. Oh, there's even a merchant in the town below us. No, we're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. We are going to deal with this monster. We're on a time limit now, even more than we were before. Well, we weren't on a time limit beforehand, but... Okay. Must be the manor the old woman mentioned. Yeah, we had a manor. What? There's wolves out there. What kind of monster would be hiding here? I mean, we, we had the contract by the well, which was a wraith, which, so it could be a specter, or it could be necrophages. We know it's a monster, but... I'll put specter oil on my sword just in case. If it turns out to be a ghoul or something, we can manage as well. But that means we... That means we first gotta figure out what it actually is. Okay, tripwire. Tripwire. Never known a monster to set a trap. 
Someone's here. Okay, uh, how about I clear this before anyone gets hurt, shall we? Problem solved. Traps everywhere. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Is that a bear trap? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I gotta move really slowly because I didn't even notice that one. One less to worry about. What? One less to worry about is quite something if within the first few meters of this estate we already find One three traps. What are we worrying about? Ghosts of the past search the farmstead. While traversing the inhospitable lands of Velen, Geralt came across an abandoned farming estate. Upon entering the estate's farmhouse, he discovered that, though seemingly uninhabited, it was crammed full of deadly traps. Someone clearly did not want any uninvited guests snooping around the place. Geralt decided to find out who and why. Well, most certainly, which means these two are linked up. Kill the monsters in the manor, but... Okay, assuming there are monsters in the manor. Can I open you up? No, locked, key required. Assuming there are monsters in the manor, assuming there are possible traps everywhere right now. How many bloody traps are we talking about? And if there was a monster here, would it not be killed by the traps? One less to worry about. Oh my god. Okay, um, I'm clearing the traps right now for my own sake. One less to worry about. But honestly, I'm also clearing them for Dolores' sake. Like, okay, just imagine. Oh, we fight the monster, we destroy it, and... I am gonna pull out a torch real quick so I can see. We defeat the monster, save this place, even though it's been abandoned for a very long time by the looks of things. We defeat the monster, and we tell Dol Dolores that it is safe to return. And we end up missing a single trap. A single trap that might very well be extremely deadly. I'm imagining Dolores walking around, not noticing a tripwire somewhere. A tripwire. And just getting skewered. Problem solved. Okay, who plays these traps? Why? I'm I'm not even noticing some of them. One less to worry about. I'm not even noticing some of the traps. Oh my god. Okay, uh, the time limit is not exactly helping. I gotta clear this entire state of traps. Who... Who placed these traps? Why? Because... This is not gonna be in order to stop a few monsters, right? Wait, the brother. Okay. Assuming that the brother never wanted to say goodbye. There's clearly some kind of family feud going on. The brother doesn't want Dolores to return home. Yet Reard and Man are brilliant. Right now I'm just... I'm getting paranoid. The brother doesn't want the lords to return home. So would the brother go as far as to... One less to worry about. As to tell people that there were monsters so no one should come here in the first place? Towards his manor? And then place traps just in case someone would be stupid enough to come over here anyway? Like Dolores, maybe? Like, seriously, if these are traps placed to... Keep a monster at bay. We're talking about overkill here. Like, one, two, three, four traps that I can see right now. Are those crossbow bolts? Those are crossbows. Right? Up there. Oh my god. This is insanity! Problem solved. Okay. I want to have a proper talk with this brother. Because, dear oh dear, this is just madness. Oh, is that...
There's gonna be traps. Possibly inside of the house. Oh, likewise. No, this is Dolores' stuff. We were allowed to take her savings. That's what she gave us the key for. Journal. Dolores Riordan's diary. Okay, I am taking journal. that. Dolores Riordan's diary, third of fame. Hot summer days have come earlier this, than usual this year. Humbert has grown unbearable. He gets angry whenever I accompany the milkmaids to the river. He says I'm not to fraternize with the help. But what makes him truly furious is when I converse with Jan and Fred. He claims a well-born lady should not mix with men of lower rank. That doing so undermines his rightful authority over them. Perhaps once the summer swell to begin to fade, he'll become more tolerable. The 20th of Fane. The boredom weighs heavier and heavier upon me. I love my brother and I'm glad we did not sell the estate after our parents died, but... At times I daydream of what it would be like to live somewhere else, with other people. The 43rd of Fane. We've a guest. He's the, the son of a lord from somewhere near Gorse Velen. A hunt took him across our land and he asked for lodging. Oh, what joy! Finally something is happening! Well, I, I, I can imagine that living here when there's not really a lot going on. Yeah, that can get boring. The 15th of La Mas. The time has come to admit it. I love Roderick. And I feel he loves me too. I hope Humbert will be pleased. Well, we know how that ended. He was not happy. He didn't even want to say goodbye to when you left. The 18th of La Mas. I told Humbert about Roderick and me. He flew into a rage. He said that match was out of the question. Perhaps I can convince him otherwise. The 21st of La Mas. Humbert remains implacable, but I shan't abandon my love of my life for him. If I'm left with no other choice, I will run away with Roderick. And so you did, only to return years later and later. Gnomish prank kings, already got that. Wonders of Saracania, already got that. Plus I'm not going to steal those anyway. Oh dear. Okay. I really think that this brother has gone a little bit cuckoo in wanting to keep you out. I mean, how much of a grudge can you have? A I totally meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. Is that what we're looking? No, that's outside of the walls. Oh, God. Okay, I want to have a talk with his brother. One less to worry about. Because... For crying out loud, this is total insanity. And I'm gonna have to, to worry about. I'm gonna have to clean all of this up one by one to make sure that I don't accidentally send the Loras home about. only to have a stumble into a trap. I mean that's just the one less to worry about. That really does not mean a lot, one less to worry about, when the entire farmstead has like more traps than farm animals. And that is including the two dead cows. One less to worry about. Oh dear. <laughs> the tripwire. Yeah. Okay, I'm I swear. Problem if there solved. is a trap here. There better not be a trap near the outhouse. I'm gonna have to go all around, clear everything from traps, while I'm already on a timer. God, this was not how I imagined this monster hunting thing to go, but sure. Okay, anything in regards to more traps? Ooh. Hi. Okay. Certainly gonna check you out. There's nothing else. Alright. Now the problem however is I don't hear anything Ooh, in regards to monsters. How about No one's been here in a long time. Yeah. How about we don't go dealing with falling off of staircases? Um I'm not hearing any monsters. At all. I'm not hearing any people. At all. Okay, I am taking those. 
the Loras won't miss those anyway. Uh, but th there is no one around here at all. No monster. No people that I can hear through the walls with my witcher senses and all that kind of stuff. This is just stuff. Green mold. I don't need green mold currently and I feel bad about stealing this stuff when I shouldn't. Uh, that's not looking that sturdy. Empty bottle. Oh well, the good news at least is there are no traps down here. A villain axe, don't need that. Water, alchemy paste. No. Okay. What have we got? Who is hiding and waiting for Dolores to die when she returns here? Uh, that is... Strange. Wall looks like it was put up later than the others. Yeah, certainly looks like it. I mean, different stone type to start off with, but they're... Skeleton in the closet. The skeleton here. Happens in the best families. Apparently. A man. In his 30s, 40s maybe. Okay, and... A couple of pages missing. Torn out. Hmm. The pages missing from the journal? Maybe. And thus I die. In darkness of hunger and thirst. Gods have mercy. Hmm. And so the time has come for me to die of starvation in the dark alone in my own manner. While my servant brings in fresh harvest just beyond these walls. My cries are in vain. Wait. Your servants. Your own manner. Is this the... Is this, is this the brother? My cries are in vain. No sound escapes from the stony grave, from the tomb that fiend Roderick sealed me. What? Okay, so Dolores fell in love with Roderick. Told Humbert about it and Humbert did not agree. Roderick sealed Humbert in here to die. If that is not the worst wrong he has done me, he stole my Dolores, and so I curse him. A thousand curses I call upon Roderick of Gorsvelen. Not for taking my life, but for taking from me the one who gave my life meaning. If anyone f ever finds my remains and this letter, please seek out my sister, Dolores Riordan, and tell her the truth. That I was killed by the man who, s who seduced her. The man she left me for. The scoundrel Roderick of Gorsvelen. He struck me from behind, dragged me here and then walled me in while I lay unconscious. He did not even have the courage to slit my throat. Yet, despite it all, I hope he brings her happiness. If so, I will rest in peace. But if he fails her, my ghost will haunt him to the end of his miserable life and he will die as I have, alone and forgotten. Okay, I'm starting to get more and more questions like, okay, Humbert is dead. We just found his corpse lying here on the ground. He got murdered, which is the reason why he never said goodbye. He got murdered before he could. And then Roderick just took the Dolores and left. So assuming that Roderick failed the Dolores, maybe. And Humbert turns into a wraith. Which means I'm gonna have to get my spectral oil ready. Uh, can a wraith be responsible for the placing of traps? Like, can a wraith do that? I am not entirely sure. Because I've not heard about the wraith doing that before. So either we got two things mixing up right now. And that means Humbert is not the one who plays the traps. But then who is? Who is placing the traps? I've got an idea I can investigate something there. 
I should get inside of that house. Can I... Maybe I can blow that open from the inside. Oh god, it's 6pm. This was supposed to be a very quick in and out visit. To deal with the monster, destroy the monster, everything will be fine. Not to clear the entire farmstead and manor of traps that could be lying everywhere. With a, a sudden plot about the death of her brother being murdered. Who haven't... God knows how long ago. Uh, and of course, if I miss even a single trap, I swear, next time I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna find Dolores dead. That's how this works. Oh dear. Did I got everything? I hope I did. I think I did. Oh, night is falling, God. Okay. We're gonna check out these houses. And hope for the best. A tripwire. A tripwire where? Oh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be bloody inside of the house. A tripwire. With crossbows. I am surprised that did not trigger that. But I'll take it. This is total insanity. And I can rearm it. Oh no. Okay, uh is this a life savings box? Sturdy barn key. Wonder what door this opens. Uh the barn, obviously. Nothing else here it seems. Oh, I I do fear that either I'm gonna be too late in regards to Fi Kyle. Or I'm gonna have to cut this short. Leave Dolores with one more one more day without a roof over her head. Oh, there's more traps inside of here. God. Movement. Uh, Gotta keep my ears open. Rustling. Over there. I heard it. Okay. Um Yeah, find where the noise is coming from, use your witcher senses. How about I go in here first and see if there's any more traps here? That's the Loris and the brother. Hmm. Look like twins. Old woman's brother. Must be. Yeah. Okay, well, a ladle. Brilliant. Anything else here? Why the traps? Who is responsible for the traps? Oh, there's something there for sure. Okay, rope. Don't need or want that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Just go down. Just go down. The last place we got. Ah, uh, 7pm. Got a few more hours. I had that key. Did this open up? I really am curious right now. What are we dealing with? Do you open? Yes, you do. More traps. Somebody lived here once. A long time ago. Dolores. Okay. Hmm, something here. A chest. Oh, the life savings. Right? That's the life savings. Well, um... I took those. That's fine. We... We don't yet deserve it. I will take the emerald dust, obviously, but... We did not clear this place of monsters. Something above us. And no ladder anywhere going up, so we gotta have to go through the big barn door. Okay, I really, really want to know right now. Spectre or something completely unrelated? Oh, there's another trap there. 
See, this is what I mean. When I think I got all the traps, I end up not having gotten all the traps. One less to worry about. Oh, God. All right. Yep. There be more. Many more. Don't move much further, Geralt. Something's not right. Oh, you think? What gave it away? The thousands <laughs> of traps fire. beforehand? Seriously. Problem solved. A wraith did not do this. Which means... <laughs> Tripwire. Whoever plays these tripwires and traps all over the place has Problem gone completely solved. insane with paranoia. No. There's a brick on the floor. Okay, how about I disarm those? I have to disarm them one by one. One less to worry about. No, no, I armed it. Don't arm the trap. Just disarm it. You know what? I'm not even going to step on that brick. I'm just gonna avoid it. How do I get up there? How many more One traps are there? Hmm. A sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. Yep, with the ladder. Are all the traps gone? I'll make a final sweep in the end. For now, though... Might be just long enough to reach that upper level. I got questions. Let's see what's up there. And I'm in need of answers. Bravo, Geralt. Avoided all my traps. Letho? Yeah, didn't expect to see you either. You one of them? One of who? What are you talking about? What is going on? Who's them? To the Emperor, mercenaries. To themselves, bounty hunters. To me, ordinary sons of bitches. Well, got nothing to fear from me. Took a job from an old woman. Supposed to get rid of the monsters here. Did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. I guess I will. So, who's after you? I hate to say this, but... I... I did told you so. I told you that this was ha would happen in the long run. <sighs> who's after you? I mean, this is a great place to hide. Obviously. Hiding in a place overrun by monsters. Good idea. Means people don't wander in by accident. And the ones who come on purpose. Well, I'm prepared for them. Yeah, with the mass amount of traps. Assassins. Emperor just decided to get rid of me. I'm an inconvenient witness after all. I've run into loads of men out to kill me ever since I left Loch Nguyen. Oh, and they're here now. now. I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. And I reason. disarmed all of them. That was a bad idea. Like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. Kept you nice and safe here. Although you know. Might they have found you on their own accord? Like, are you sure he betrayed you? So maybe those men down below wound up here by accident. Eat my own boot before I believe that. Gotta get rid of them. Come in. <sighs> I mean... Sure. Sure. You might have done this all to yourself, but... We are with so few already. Of course I'll help you. Lead the way. We got a plan of attack? Yeah. Improvise. That's not a... That's not a plan of attack. Oh dear. Don't let him catch his breath. Well, well, well. How about... How about I pull out my sword and... Okay. Okay. How about that? Everyone enjoy a little bit of Quen. There we go. 
<laughs> With a little bit of luck, I could easily manage. Oh boy. Yeah, against two witches, people, you made a horrible mistake. There we go. No, you don't. Go away. That's it. Sorry, I kind of took that kill from you. Ah. Goddamn fools. Shuttily armed for assassins. They're just scats. Came to see if Lewis was telling the truth. Rest must be waiting nearby. So... And your old pal probably knows where. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told him. Think me and him are due for a little chat. Ah. Uh, good luck. Do you know? I would love to see that. I'm... I'm not gonna leave Leather alone right now. Honestly not. Huh. Could be interesting. Love to see it. Come along. Side of two witches should loosen his tongue that much quicker. That's very true. Stay close to me. It's one of those places that's hard to find if you don't know where to look. Oh, uh, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Miss Lewis. Somehow doubt he's one of your best friends. You know how it is in this trade. Drink with someone in the evening. Check if he's robbed you in the morning. How'd you meet? Was before Faltas kissed this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Edirne. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided to catch the bastard and make some coin. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. He was, uh, merry-making at the Golden Hanged Man. Smack in the middle of Hag. Nabbed him, tied him up, but the guard post didn't open till dawn. So we had a few hours. Okay. Started talking, killing time. Chat was so nice that once dawn came, I let him go. And that's why you trusted him? Felt he owed you one? I was stupid. Stupidity can cost you. But betrayal costs even more. Well, you will figure that out right now, huh? Okay, there's a hidden treasure. No, we're not gonna... No, no, no. We need to ride. I really fear I'm gonna have to disappoint the Peller. This was supposed to be a simple case of kill a few monsters. Nothing wrong beyond that. Just kill a few monsters, tell Dolores the good news, go to Fike Isle, and everything is fine. This got a whole lot more complicated real quick. Oh dear. On one hand, Sletho, it is very good to see you. On the other, I kind of wish we had met under different circumstances. So, good cop, bad cop? I'll be the good cop, because I don't think you can be the good cop, Letho, and we don't want to end up with a bad cop, bad cop situation. Letho, greetings. Good to see you, alive and well. Oh, yeah? Of course. <laughs> We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt of Rivia, witcher. Another one? What's this? Prime contract available in the area? Maybe. Sit down. Care for a drink? I don't drink with traitors and rats. Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turf. Arno Vesta's men showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They've been nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps they finally caught a whiff. Hmm. With your help. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. You're not denying. No insult worthy of scum like you. Careful, men! They're oh. witches! Witches don't attack humans! Well, we do attack in self-defense. You know that, right? Okay, you know what? I'll leave Lewis for you. Enjoy. Lie still or you'll bleed to death. 
tell me where Vesto's men are. I'll give you something to staunch the bleeding. They're north of here. In Lindenville. In Lindenville? Okay. You're a traitor, which would make you a liar too. But at the same time, how much did they pay you to double cross Letho? How much was this worth? I'm curious. How much does the life of an old mate get you these days? Sinks. Sinks been shy of late. And we fell afoul of the black ones. Vesta showed up one day, offered half of the bounty on your head, and a letter of absolution from the Emperor. That would be worth something. You gotta understand. You don't say no to an offer like that. You should have. I understand. I... my medicine! Gotta understand, Lewis. You don't betray men like me. Time to see Vester going with you. Are we... are we really... Damn you! Yep. Tough luck. Um... Lin... Linderfield. Oh, you know what? That... Oh, I... Oh. Whoa. I know I'm leaving all kinds of stuff behind, go, go. but Letho is in a hurry as well, and there's only two more hours. Oh, I'm so not going to make it to Fike Isle in time. I'm so not going. Vester, Elf Guardian name from Metnor, I think, but he's hunted and killed everywhere from the far south to the Dragon Mountains. Why have I never heard of him? Goon goes by different names: Brandon Vilf, Apple Saxon, Manfred Wimple Bottoms. Wimple Bottoms. Wimple -bottoms. Good name for a clown. Once he's done in, sure weren't laughing. Preferred method, rip the teeth out one by one, then cut the mouth open ear to ear. Wow. That's how they punish deadbeat debtors in the Nilf Guardian underworld. Quite the career. Underworld to serving the Emperor and his court. Yeah, scum does usually float to the top. Seems like it's... Keep well, your eyes open. Think they're really here? Don't know. But like I said, I've grown real careful. Yeah, I understand it. Well, the good news is I need to be in Linville. But it's way too late right now. Oh, if this is going to end up in combat on horseback, nice I'm not going to be happy. Gotta be worth more than the entire village. Seems like we're at the right address, huh? So what's the plan? Are we just gonna kill them all? What's in the barn? Hey! Got company? Run and find your parents. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable. Take you and flee. Got it? Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. What was that? Compensation. Stay here and don't interfere, no matter what happens. Plug your ears. Oh, you're going to blow up the house, aren't you? Compensation for a reason. Oh boy. Or you're blowing up the barn. That's why you asked what was in the barn. That makes sense, and that certainly got their attention. Or something. Shut up, all of you! Letho of Gullet. Good to see you, alive and well. Funny. Second time today I've heard that lie. It is no lie. You will certainly fetch a higher bounty alive. Really? How much? Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir, where I will lie about eating fruit till the end of my days. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his head. Most men would prefer not to have one. Why did he tell us not to intervene? Why have you come? To make my life easier? We were passing by. 
decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arnold Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame we'll not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. Wanna kill me, but you don't even know me. Not nice. Think I have to punish you for that. But I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands, one man after the other. Till the end of your days, those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Bloody hell. You fucking dimwit. I hadn't time to exchange two words with the man. He provoked me! Letha, what the hell are you doing? We have no quarrel with you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? <sighs> what the... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Letho, an amazing witcher, killer of kings, extremely capable witcher. Although he made some mistakes in his life, sure, but extremely capable witcher. Goes to fight some normal Nilfgaardian bounty hunters. And dies? Something doesn't add up here. He... He told us not to intervene. He told us not to intervene. If... Oh god. If all of these bounty hunters are killed, the Emperor will just send more after him, right? There will be no end to it. He's not dead. He is not dead. And if I intervene, I will mess up his entire plan. You go your way, I'll go mine. Wise choice. Take his head, and we leave this uh, forsaken You place. might not want to do that. <sighs> okay. His medallion is all you need. That's the only proof you need. A witch would never part with his medallion willingly. Just give the man a little bit of dignity. He's ran this far from you. That's at least the little thing he deserves, right? You're not taking anything. Need proof? Take his medallion. We will take his head. You are one, we are three. Mm-hmm. But in the time it took me to run up, Letho dropped six of yours with a bolt in his chest. How long will it take me to kill you? What do you think? Then, take the medallion. The head could rot before we arrived at our destination. Exactly. Saddle the horses. We ride. Oh, I really hope I'm right on this one. He is not dead. Hmm. Zanguibarian venom. Something's fishy. Come on. Come on. Please tell me he poisoned himself to feign his death so that the Nilfgaardian... Oh yes! So that they indeed would think they finally got him. You still here? <laughs> They'd have cut your head off if I hadn't been here. Hmm. So you proved useful after all. Why didn't you could've tell me? me. <laughs> no fun in that. This could have ended very differently. I swear, if I went onto the whole vengeful Avenger route and whatnot to avenge your death, where would we have been now? Like, I would not have intervened, but I would have messed everything up. You really should have told me, Letho. Are you alright? You alright? You're conscious, but the Zanguibarian Venom could still kill you. 
Got the antidote? Mm. Saddlebag. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. What was it for? That whole farce? Told you. I'd been on the run since Loch Muin. Loads of pursuers. Got ambushed once, almost died. So I decided it was time to end it. Once and for all. Found Vesto's gang and paid off his arbalist. You paid him off? You just witnessed the rest of the story. That's why you walked up so close to him. Easy shot in the shoulder. Wow. But weren't you afraid that he'd cross you in? And also, Lewis, was he a part of this plan? I mean, the Arbalist. Th this was a bloody risky move, Letho. Weren't you afraid he'd cross you? What if he'd crossed you, like Lewis? I had to risk it. Gotta say it's paid off. Letho of Gullet's dead as a doornail. Word of that'll spread like wildfire far and wide. All I gotta do now is disappear. I mean... You could go to Kea Morn. If there's one place to disappear, to disappear to right now... It would be that place. Plus... I think we can... Put a cross through the whole plan of rebuilding the Witcher School of the Viper. So... Yeah. It's the best thing you've got, Letho. Hmm. You could wait things out at Kaer Morhen. With your friends from the School of the Wolf? Uh -huh. No thanks. Could end badly. Tell them I sent you. They'll understand, give you space. And as long Kaer as you Morhen, don't make trouble. Say. Hmm. Why not? Got some loose ends to tie up. But then I'll head there. Do you need anything else? A swig of swallow, maybe? Some Everloose wine? Help you somehow? Need anything? No thanks. I'll be fine. So, see you at Kaer Morhen. See you, Wolf. I'll see you when winter comes. <laughs> uh. Hi. Did we just... We just simply end... Third uh house, it's way past midnight. Ah, oh, Peller, Peller, I really hope we can switch things around towards tomorrow because this was completely out of my control. Letho of Gullet, the assassin of kings himself. It's quite a surprise to see him here, and although he is responsible for a lot of harm at the current state of this war. I've got to admit, it is good to see he's still alive and kicking. 